Hi everyone, Faith Logan here. Thank you so much to Jenna over at Celebrity Oat Spot for the chance to uh, be interviewed. And I also just want to thank you all for tuning in. I'm really looking forward to talking with you about some of the projects in the past, which I've had the pleasure of filming, and some upcoming projects, which I think you'll be really excited to tune into. My start in the entertainment industry was kind of by accident. I was studying to be an opera singer at the time, and I'm a member of AGMA, which is the Opera Singers Union. A friend of mine, she was a theater student, and she wanted me to accompany her on a casting call, which was taking place on our college's campus at the time. And it was for a miniseries. She was a little bit nervous. She needed moral support, and she wanted me to bring my headshot and resume with me. And you have to understand, I've had experience with auditioning for operas. I've had experience with auditioning for plays, for musicals. And I quite honestly knew almost next to nothing about auditioning for television at the time. So I decided to keep my friend company and on the day of the audition, I have my headshot in hand, I have my resume in hand. My friend's a complete no-show. So I am not really proud to admit this. I cut a bunch of classes to keep my friend company and I was in the middle of trying to figure out should I stay and audition, should I go? The casting director calls me into audition and I decide, you know, I've cut all of these classes, why don't I just go for an audition? So I ended up getting a call back, which I'm really excited to announce, but it wasn't for the original project that they were casting for. The project that they ended up bringing me on for was Show Me a Hero. And they called me in for multiple days of filming, and I absolutely loved it. And that was the first very big project I worked, and that was my start into the entertainment industry. And my friend who ended up not showing, well, she ended up realizing this career wasn't really for her, and she's happy doing something else now. It was an incredible experience to work on both sets. Uh, although I played a very, very small part in both of the films, it was a wonderful experience, amazing cast and crew, and the Marvel films have always held a special place in my heart because it was thanks to Spider-Man Homecoming that I actually got my SAG card and was able to join the union. There's no really behind the scenes secret, but there's a couple of tips and a couple of tricks that you learn when you're on set. Uh, quite honestly, as an actor, when you're on set, you learn the following, never stop learning. This was a very important thing for me. Always pay attention to what's happening on set and just have fun observing people because as an actor, you draw a lot of your acting based on what you observe from others. What I'd also say is do your research, Learn your lines. Learn the lines of the other people in the scene because it makes everything go so much smoother. Trust your instincts. Be natural and be authentic. And never hesitate to ask questions. But don't do it in the middle of filming and don't do it before someone's had their morning coffee. Timing is everything. I've always had a somewhat offbeat and kind of twisted sense of humor, which has helped me get through a lot with my work and also through a lot in my personal life. And I found that a healthy sense of humor is quite honestly crucial to self-confidence, which is also coupled with the fact that I don't really take myself too seriously and that I don't really sweat the small stuff. That being said, I'm an actor and a model who takes her work very seriously. My advice also, embrace what makes you different. Now, I have to applaud the fact that the fashion industry is representing all of these different diverse voices and the fact that they're coming around and realizing that beauty comes in all forms. But that being said, we still have miles to go before we sleep. My other advice, make sure that you're eating healthy and that you're staying hydrated because food is fuel and those long hours on set can be grueling. Also, mental health is everything. Surround yourself with people who love you, that care for you, that encourage you, that support you, and that you know are gonna be in your corner. Those people that can keep you grounded and help put things in perspective because quite honestly, this is a tough business and you have to be stronger. Also, I'd recommend the following. Keep a physical fitness regimen, for me, cardio and strength work, but also make sure that you have a creative outlet and it can be outside of acting and modeling. You can do painting, writing, drawing, cooking, whatever it is that makes you happy. But for me, that creative outlet and that physical outlet just make me feel so creatively inspired and refreshed. And just know that 
For you, the keys to confidence, there's no secret formula. Just do what makes you feel great. In addition to my work with the United Nations and the fact that I have done some fashion shows which have supported some very noble causes, I have also aligned myself with the following charities and organizations such as Autism Awareness, Breast Cancer Awareness, Pet Rescue, and I'm also involved with a lot of mentorship efforts. And after all, the volunteerism and giving back your talents and your time has been intrinsic to me since college, and actually quite honestly since I was young. I was involved very much with the Duchesne Center, which is now the Mary T. Clark Center at my college, which is focused on giving back your time and your talents and your efforts. So I encourage you to do the same. In addition to walking sh some shows during New York Fashion Week, I'll be beginning principal photography on a new film called Bloodborne, directed by Mark David and starring actors Jeremy Sumter, Lydia Hurst, and Ed Asner. I'm going to be bringing life to the character of Joe Lynn the girlfriend of the lead who ultimately discovers that his blood can cure cancer. The writing is absolutely poignant, and Daniel Blake Smith, who is our brilliant screenwriter and executive producer, is going to leave audiences with the ultimate question. What would you do if you knew that you had this gift, that your blood could cure cancer? Would you hide it away and nurture it? Would you save only those that you loved? Or, would you decide that you wanted to sell it to a company such as Big Pharma and hope that you can turn a hefty profit? We're gonna be beginning in upstate New York for a uh, fall shoot, and I honestly can't wait to get started. And I've also got some more projects coming up down the line, but I'm right now in the middle of negotiations, not at liberty to discuss anything further, but I want you to stay tuned. You can find me on my official website at www.faithlogan.com. You can also find me on Twitter at TheFaithLogan, on Facebook and Instagram at TheRealFaithLogan, and Snapchat as TheLadyFaith.